Chili is usually one of those meals that we want in cold weather. But in this video, I am sharing a simple and delicious recipe for chili that can be enjoyed any time of the year. There is a nice balance of savory flavor with a hint of sweet. This turned out a little more spicy than I normally make chili, but the heat can be adjusted by leaving out the red chili peppers if you don't like a lot of heat in your chili. Now let's get into this recipe. We will begin by creating the chili seasoning. However, if you prefer to save time and you want to use a pre-made chili season, by all means, go ahead. But for this chili seasoning, you're going to add two tablespoons of chili powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of cumin, a half a teaspoon of crushed pepper, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Both of those seasonings you can adjust because they really made it spicy as well as with the smoked paprika. So it's really gonna be according to your taste buds. Now you will need to saute the veggies. Add some olive oil into your pan and saute one medium sweet potato. Chop it up first. <laughs> half of chopped onion and half a green pepper. Saute until tender and then add about one teaspoon of your chili seasoning. Once your vegetables get all tender, add a small can of tomato paste one can of diced tomatoes and this particular one is my favorite kind it has oregano and basil in it i usually just get that but you can also use the one that is chili ready then stir in two cups of vegetable broth add more chili seasoning i added about three tablespoons but later i realized i needed a little bit more so this is another thing where you just need to taste your chili as you go and add as much seasoning as you feel you want. Then you're gonna go in with one can of black beans. I realized later that I wanted more beans so I added one can of dark red kidney beans, but you can just go ahead and add two cans of black beans. I had black beans on hand, but I like kidney beans too, so I went ahead and added those. Now I like to also add sugar to my chili. I just feel like it makes the flavors come together better. So I added one tablespoon of brown sugar, but you don't have to do this. That's completely optional. And then you're just gonna let this simmer on medium to low heat until everything comes together and is well incorporated and that's probably about 20 minutes. I was really hungry, so I might have only did it maybe 10 minutes, I don't know. <laughs> but this was so delicious. Um, I did because I'm a little bit of a wimp when it comes to hot and spicy food. I did actually go back in and add some tomato sauce to kind of cool it down, but I really wish I hadn't have done that because it tasted so good even though it was spicy it was so delicious just the way it was before I added that tomato sauce so next time I'll just adjust the pepper for my own liking but the way I had it it just tastes phenomenal so I was very happy with this this chili it came together so well it really made me Feel like I had chili again aside from I've made chili before without meat but this time it just had such a good flavor that it made me feel like I wasn't missing the meat in the chili so I hope that you try this recipe and I hope that you enjoy it 
Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.